Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an updated what is in my everyday makeup bag. If you didn't see my life update video, I will leave it down below where I say where I'm at during this self-isolation quarantine, but I am at my parents' house so I did bring makeup with me and that's really much all I have to use. I couldn't bring my whole makeup collection obviously to a different city, but I have this makeup bag here which I got on Amazon and it is a wonderful travel makeup bag. So this is also my travel makeup bag video, but also my current everyday makeup bag video because I didn't really bring anything crazy, but I also usually pare down when I'm traveling. So this really is my everyday makeup bag. So if you guys wanna see what is in this, then just keep watching. So this is from Amazon and it's really incredible. I don't use it like really when I'm traveling, but I knew I would be making uh, makeup videos. I knew I would want like my kind of more than my regular travel makeup. So this is it here and it opens up and it has all these compartments and then it has room for brushes up here, which is pretty amazing. It doesn't stand up on its own, which is the only thing, but you can prop it up and then you have all your makeup organized like this. So it's really easy if you are traveling or are staying somewhere else, like your parents' house, you can prop this up and kind of make your own little vanity and makeup station. So let's just dive into everything that is in here. In, in kind of a particular order, let me try to go into a particular order. Okay, the first thing is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. This is a mini. It was sent to me to try, like literally right before I left to go to my mom. So I was like, okay, throw it in the bag. I wanna try it. I'm wearing it today. I haven't read a lot about this, but I kind of love it. It, it, it gives you this glow, this brightening and this shine without looking like there's any, like it's not like a glowy primer. There's no that kind of like metallic sheen, but it gives you that glow and it sits really well under makeup. I can see even wanting to use it like, it says you can use it without makeup or even dabbed on top of makeup as a highlight. So I'll have to play around a little bit with this because um, I don't usually wear primers anymore, but since this was new and sent to me, I brought it. I brought two foundations. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I figured, you know, we're in self-isolation, we're in quarantine, I'm not really gonna be going outside that much, and so if I just wanted a little pick-me-up to make myself feel a little bit better, I figured a tinted moisturizer was perfect for that, and this is my favorite one. I am in the shade Wheat 4.5. Then more so because I knew I would be filming videos, um, I'm wearing this one today. I really, really love this foundation. It's so beautiful. It is good for every day and good if you really wanna build it up and get that full coverage. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating foundation. I didn't like the, the first one that came out, but I love this one. I'm in the shade 150. It is a great match, although I'm very, very pale, but usually it works for me. Um, but yeah, I love this. I use it with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender, which I also brought. Uh, I've just been obsessed with using this lately. So I was like, you know what, if I'm actually going to be like doing my makeup for real on camera, I'll bring my sponge. Um, but yeah, so that's my foundation. The concealer I brought is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. You've heard me talk about this a lot. I'm in the shade Porcelain. Wearing this one today, this one's great for full coverage, like no nonsense concealer. But then I also brought, again, I didn't know how long I would be here, or we'd be stuck inside, or I'd be, you know, living with my parents for how long, but this is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Creme Brulee. I like this for just like more natural, everyday looks. You can just use your finger or like a tiny little brush and just like dab the tiniest little bit under your eyes or maybe on a pimple. So it's definitely more for everyday use for me, so I brought that one as well. For powder, I brought my Too Faced Primed and Poreless, Primed and Poreless Powder. This is the one I always travel with. It's just a translucent powder, but I love that it is in a compact so it doesn't break, it doesn't get it everywhere, it doesn't become a mess. But again, I also brought this. This is a Laura Mercier mini translucent powder for the days where I will be using like more makeup and definitely wanna set that like today. I brought a couple cream products. I've been using these a lot lately. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face Color in Bondi Bay and Sunkissed. This is a bronzing color and then also this kind of like dusty bronze, pinky bronze color. 
I love these. Um, again, for a quick, no nonsense makeup look, if you're, you know, just going from your bedroom to your living room. But if you also want to like cream contour with them, they, they work really well for that as well. I also brought the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. I love this little thing. Again, great for everyday wear, great for layering underneath uh, powder blush. I usually just dab it on my fingers dab it on with my fingers onto my cheeks and then you just give, get that extra little glow. I have my new favorite bronzer. This is the Maybelline City bronzer. I have the shade 100. I'm wearing this today. I love it. It's really natural. It's really good for the winter months and if you're fair, it's matte but not flat and I just think it really blends out really nicely and I just really like the look of it. Ta-da. I did bring my Kevin Aquan sculpting powder. I've hit pan on this. I'm wearing it today. I wear it every time I film or like go out or anything like that. Blush, powder blush, I think this is the only one I brought. This is the NARS Madly blush. Do they even sell this? I will have to look it up. I've had this one for so long. I probably should buy another one, but I'm wearing it today. It is my favorite just everyday blush. Some highlighters that I have. This is the Milk Makeup Turnt Highlighting Stick. I love this little thing. It's like a pink rosy iridescent. I love it. It has glitter in it. It's super fun. What I'm wearing today is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder Highlight 01. Ta -da -da -da. It's just super natural. I figure like I'm not, I'm not really going anywhere. I don't need crazy highlighter. So I just packed that natural one. Oh, but haha. <laughs> Take that back. I also packed this one. This is the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in Lit. This is an intense highlighter. Again, I brought this in case I was filming, but it's typically the highlighters that I wear um, on an everyday basis, kind of depending on what I'm feeling. Okay, so a couple things, a couple things. Oops, there goes my sponge. Okay, I brought my brows. This is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim in soft brown. I have been using this nonstop. It's in my brows today. What do you guys think? I like it. I like it a lot. I highly recommend that, and it's from the drugstore. I brought the Monsieur Big Lancome Monsieur Big Waterproof Mascara, although I'm almost out of this. So I also brought the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. I like this. I just wish I had the waterproof one because I just prefer waterproof mascaras, but I did bring those two. I brought my Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Pencil in Legend. I wear this every single day that I wear makeup in my tight line. I have really... Um, fair eyelashes and this just really helps them look more full. I have my MAC Teddy eyeliner. Look how small it is. I wear that in my lower lash line. I have my Maybelline New York Hyper Easy Brush Tip. This is a black liquid eyeliner in case I wanted to use that. I have my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is what I set my brows with every day. Eyelash curler, obviously. Okay, some eye stuff. I have the Laura Mercier Moonlight Caviar Eye Stick. I'm wearing this one on my eyes today with some eyeshadow over top. I love this thing. I also brought the Nude Sticks Magnetic Luminous Eye Colors in Pink Seychelles and Nudity. These came from the Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette. Um, or eyeshadow, cream eyeshadow stick palette. I love these. I brought my MAC Paint Pot in Groundwork. Uh, this is kind of like a matte brown that I usually just throw on my eyes every single day. I also brought, in case I wanted to get a little fancy, this is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in Ray. I will do a close up. You've seen this. This is just like a beautiful glitter top coat. Um, it's kind of like a taupe with silver flecks in it. I love it. It's really, really pretty just to like brush on your eyelid and give you like a nice glitter effect. And that's it for that. Let me see some lips that I brought. I didn't bring too, too many. Um, kind of for every day. I love the Nude Sticks um, Lip and Cheek Pencil in Mystic. Um, it's just like a mauve nude color. It's really creamy. It's great for every day. This one's also been my favorite. This is Ringleader, the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. It's like a pinky color. It's really, really pretty. For some filming purposes, I just brought this for a pop of color. This is the YSL Volupte Shine. These are kind of like a gloss oil balm hybrid. I just wanted like a little fun pop of spring color. And then I also brought this, which is on my lips, and this is the Bite Beauty Outburst Longwear Lip Stain in Strawberry Frosé, and it's this brick crazy bright color. I also brought the MAC Lip Liner in Spice, just kind of goes with anything I'm even wearing under this lip today. 
And I have two sprays. I have the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Setting Spray and a mini of the MAC Fix Plus. Just kind of always have these with me. So that is everything that is in this little bag. Oh, I also have a sharpener, but that's everything. Um, oh no, I lied, it's not everything. I also bring <laughs> my little self-made pan of Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I'm pretty sure I have a video on this. I'll try to find it and leave it down below of the specific colors I have in there. I basically use this white and this is Anastasia Birkin. I wear those like every single time I do makeup. So this is what I brought. Um, Brushes, I don't know if I want to get into, but I just brought like one of everything in eye brush. I'm not going to be doing crazy eye looks. I also do want to mention, this is just for filming purposes, but I brought my Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals eyeshadow palette. Uh, I was like thinking of a palette that I could do neutral looks with, crazy looks with, just a diverse range of looks. And I thought of this one because it's just got so much in it and I love the glitter and I just shoved my nail into that. Yeah, now there's glitter everywhere. That's okay. So that is everything that is in my current everyday slash travel slash quarantine makeup bag. I really hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!